Good morning and welcome to LASA News. I'm your host, Adriana Coda. And I am Lauren Macias. Today we have new information regarding the controversial epidemic, teen vaping. Due to new trendy vaping devices and flavored nicotine products, we have seen an increase in the number of adolescent smokers slash vapors. According to NBC News, the tobacco industry is well aware of that flavored tobacco products appeal to young and has taken advantage of this by marketing marketing them in a wide variety of fruit and candy flavors. Flashy ads posted on social media sites advertising the addictive candy flavored products also lures teens towards the vape trend. E-cigarettes have become easier to access as interest increases. Vape convenience centers and online shopping stores carry all of the latest vape accessories, allowing adolescents easier access to these products. The most common e-cigarette known as the Jewel is the Slim modern version of the electronic smoking device. The Jewel is the size and shape of a USB drive, making it easy to conceal and always carry with you. Jewel pods come in a wide variety of flavors and controlled nicotine doses. The high nicotine content in the pods make Jewels extremely addictive. We can relate this addiction to the addiction seen in Harper Lee's character, Mrs. DuBose, who was a morphine addict, Lee 127. This brings us to our next issue. On vaping and smoking. Okay, so vaping and smoking. Smoking like a tobacco product? Yes. Okay, well, both of them are within the age group of 21 and up. Okay, being that 21 is not that random number, the goal is there to identify that your brain is mostly developed. At least that frontal lobe where we're identifying like right from wrong, morals, values, ethics, and so on, okay, is rational. So in reference to my stance on vaping, I think it's hazardous for your health and nobody should do it, whether you're above 21 or under 21. So why do you think adolescents vape when it's not safe? So when we did our activity in class, I found that some of the reasons why we think youth are utilizing vapes is because the idea of it looks cool, okay, or it satisfies a, a, basically like a coping method. Okay, so when I feel stressed, I do this instead of, say, run. I know that's not like equal, like, run instead of vape or something, but the idea is these are negative coping mechanisms and choosing to use a drug. What would you say to an adolescent who does vape to be discouraged from doing it? Honestly, logic is pretty, like, I don't know, apparent to me as far as the rationale. Something that is uh, toxic or potentially harmful, right? um, something that is not uh, something other than oxygen you're choosing to inhale, right? Seems logic says that's probably not the best thing that you should do. Thank you, Allison and Ms. Drucker, for sharing your thoughts on teen vaping. We are now switching to Sydney Harris, who will have a new story involving adolescent vaping. What encouraged you to start vaping? Well, I saw a lot of my friends doing it, so I thought I'd try it out. How often do you vape? Whenever I can. Have you ever tried to quit vaping? And if so, was it difficult? Uh, it's a little difficult, but I don't think it's impossible. What do your friends and family think about you vaping? Well, my parents don't know, but all my friends just think I'm kind of stupid. Has it affected you in any of those relationships? Uh, not necessarily. Maybe some of my friends. How has it affected you mentally and physically? I don't think it's affected me that much. In Layden High School District 212, Easy Layden High plastered the ha hallways with flyers warning of the addictive nature of smoking and posted security guards near bathroom ent entrances to discourage the use of vapes in them. The Chicago Tribune claims that the neighboring high school, West Leiden High, also acted, and I quote, closing bathrooms during passing periods, end quote, to curb the use of vapes on campus. Clearly, this new vaping trend is blowing out of proportion as addiction among the adolescents beco becomes more common. We went to a more local school, Ayala High School, to question a student who regular, regularly vapes in order to see a new perspective as, I quote, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, end quote, Lee 39. As if smokers need more reasons to quit, research shows smokers earn less.